got a big bag, let me change that Show me with your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game I'll show you where the red at, where the blue at Show you where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game There you go, look at that. You gotta get the two sinks, man. With the bug, big full body mirror. You know what I'm saying? Get you the two sinks. <laughs> but it's not a his and her sink because we on bachelor egg right now. So we just got the bid sink. We got the regular sink. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Let's go. Look at the closet. Look at the closet space. Let's go. We look I see these windows. You gotta get you some floor to ceiling windows. Or at least pretty close. Women love to come up to the windows. Look out the window. Oh, it's romantic. Get you some floor to ceiling windows, man. Try and put y'all on game. The crib is important. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And today we talking about how I need you dudes to step your game up. I need y'all to get a place before you get a whip. Everybody's always concerned with the whip. And it gets on my nerves. Your place is more important than the whip. Your place is going to tell everybody everything they need to know about you as a man. A lot of you dudes go out here and it's like, oh, I got the BMW, but I'm living with my mama. A lot of you dudes go out here and you go, oh, I got the Maserati, but I'm living in the broom closet. A lot of you dudes go out here and go, oh, I got the Porsche, but I'm dodging bullets every time to get into the house. No, 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 no. You want to live in luxury. Not enough men live in luxury. Not enough men strive for luxury. Not enough of my dudes put themselves in a position where they don't kind of come out of the crib dodging bullets. Not enough of my dudes put themselves in a position where they don't have to worry about someone breaking in their car. Not enough of my dudes put themselves in a position where they can walk to a gym. Not enough of my dudes put themselves in that type of position. Y'all too content living at your mom's. Y'all too content living in the hood. Y'all too content living in the broom closet. Y'all too content living in the trailer park. Y'all too content living in the ghetto with all the other Asians or all the other Hispanics. No, no, no. I need y'all to push for a luxurious lifestyle, okay? Not enough men know what it's like to have a closet that goes from wall to wall and walk in your closet. A lot of enough dudes don't know what it's like to live above the city. You guys need floor to ceiling windows. Listen, y'all always talk about how to get women. Do y'all know how much women love floor to ceiling windows? Women see floor to ceiling windows and they go, oh my God, look at the view. They be wanting to stand in the window looking all crazy. You ever had a woman looking out your window and you had her like this and you behind her? Man, y'all don't even know what it's like. Imagine what it's like to wake up every morning, the sun shining through your windows because the windows go from wall to wall, the sun coming in there, the sun like, yo, what's up? You staring at the sun. You can stand in your damn window staring at the sun like, yo, what's up, sun? It's going to be a beautiful day. You dudes don't know what it's like to have the balcony that's above the city, not below the city, not on a level with the city, above the city. You can look down at the world every day and you can really feel like the world is my oyster. I look down at the world. Sometimes I just pour myself a glass of whiskey and I go on the balcony or I go to the floor to see when those i look down at the world from the third floor and i'm like yo the world is my oyster the world is my oyster you know i know what it feels like you just got the washing and dry in the crib you got the washer and dryer in the crib. You don't got to lug all your clothes downstairs, throw them in the trunk, hope that the washer's open, hope that the dryer's open, put your money in the thing, wait for the change to come out, okay? <laughs> put all your clothes in the dryer, throw all your clothes, put them back in there and carry them up. No, you can just wash clothes whenever you feel like it. Just go downstairs and just wash your goddamn clothes. It's just that simple. You got the garage, park the car in the garage. Y'all don't understand. Listen, when you live downtown, you always ask, where the high value women at? Where the high value women at? They're downtown. They're in the penthouses. They're in the apartments and they're in the houses and the condominiums that are downtown, okay? All the girls I see on Hinge, all the girls I see on Bumble, all the girls I see on Seeking Arrangements, they live downtown. 
Do you know what it's like for your house to be a vibe? People be like, oh, I want to go somewhere at night. I, you know, it's the ambience. There ain't more, more ambience than when you can bring a girl to your room, cut the lights off, have the ceiling fan spinning, have her looking out the window, floor the ceiling windows in your crib, sipping on some tequila, sipping on some Casamigos, sipping on some Patron, and the goddamn robe. Okay, you got the option. You can take her to the back, to the balcony, and then they're going to go lean over the balcony like this. Wow, look at the view. And you can come up right behind them. Bang, bang, bang. Or you can have them in the room. They're looking at the ceiling. Like I said, you can get them like this. Or you can just put them straight in the bed. You got options. You got options. Or if they do want to go out, let's say they want to go out somewhere nice, you can walk. You don't even have to drive. What you got to drive for? You can just walk. All the most popping places in any city are downtown. When you already live downtown, you can walk to all the most popping places. You do be worried about the wrong thing. You got, well, I got to have a car. I got to have a car. Why? So you can pick her up, you don't have to pick her up, order her the Uber. Let me tell you something right now. If you order a woman an Uber and you live downtown in the high rise, okay? And you order her the Uber to the high rise, she's gonna come over there more wet than if you pick her up in the BMW, but you gotta go back to her place because you don't got no place to pick her. <laughs> okay? She's gonna be more wet. And then dude's gonna save with the car. What you gonna bang her in the car? What you gonna bang her in the car? You gonna be getting poked in your eye with a toe because you're all curled up and contorted and look like a game of twister. That's what you about to do. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, you're gonna stay at your mom's crib. You got a time limit of when you can come home. You got a sneaker in the basement. She got to make the walk of shame when you done. Your little brother looking at her like this. Your little sister looking at her like this. Your mama and your grandmama like, mm-mm, use a hoe. She got to make that walk of shame. She got to make that walk of shame or whatever the case may be. You don't want her to have to make that walk of shame. You want to know where the IG model's at? That's where they're at. This is where they're coming to. You don't need a call. You can bring them over the crib. Now, let me say this before I dip. When you do get to a like, luxurious lifestyle, and when you do get to that high rise, don't bring no straggles or low value women to your crib. That's the only rule. Only high value women can come into the crib, okay? Do not bring no low value women into your crib, all right? No Ratchet Rihanna's, no Trailer Park Tracy's, okay? No Refry Breen Henrietta, or no Leftover Little Man Lou Kane. None of them can come to the crib, okay? Only high value women can come to your crib. But guess what? You're not even gonna wanna be dealing with straggles. You're not even gonna wanna be dealing with low value women when you're down here. Cause when you're down here, all you're gonna see is the finest of the fine. Cause only the finest of the fine can afford to be down here. You want to see a high-value woman? You got to put yourself in high-value situations. And at the end of the day, you got to feel like you deserve it. Like I said, not enough men feel like they deserve it. Everything they do is for women. Everything they do is for the woman. Listen, work hard, play hard. I tell you guys, you should be working more than 40 hours a week. I tell you guys, you only be taking one day off. But I tell you that because then you can just send out your... You can just say what area you stay in. Where, where you live? You say downtown. Her panties wet. You ain't got to do nothing. Now she's taking you on dates. Y'all be like, how you get girls to take you on dates? Because when they know you live in a nice area, they already know you got to be making a certain amount of money to live there. It validates you without you having to go through the BS, without you having to run your mouth, without you having to talk, without you having to do all of that extra stuff. That should be the grind. The car means nothing. Women see a car, she knows you probably don't own that car. Women sees a car, she knows, okay, you got that car, but you might not have a place. They're ahead of the game. You be ahead of the game by getting yourself a nice place first. At the end of the day, she can't say nothing about you having a nice place because you got to make two and a half times more than the rent. And if you live downtown, she know your rent's in a thousand and you make two and a half times whatever that thousands is. It's going to be a panty dropper every single time. Stop focusing on the whip. Start focusing on the crib. Give yourself the luxury that you deserve, fellas. Give yourself the luxury that you deserve, the peace of mind, the amenities, all that that you deserve, all right? I'm Alex Lamont. Peace.